18, 2022, Governor Babajide Sanwolu pronounced a ban on operations of commercial motorcyclists in six local government council areas of Lagos, including Etiosa, Ikeja, Surulere, Lagos Island, Lagos Mainland, and Apapa, as well as some major highways and bridges. June 1, full enforcement of the ban began, and by June 3, the state government had publicly carried out the crushing of the first batch of the over 2,000 motorbikes seized from the violators of the ban to demonstrate how serious it was. Since on the 1st of June, there has been more than 85% compliance. 85% compliance in the sense that we don't see Okadas on the road, on the express any longer. The number has drastically reduced. But I know for sure, and I'm passing this information to them because they, they are watching us. They might be of the belief that the first one week of the enforcement will be thorough. These three first days of enforcement is just to test run it, to check the number of compliance. Then the sustainability plan is the next phase. We want the government to extend. This event is part of the next phase of the ban. Officials and other critical parties are reviewing the policy and the verdict is that it has been successful and achieved the set target of reducing crimes and accidents by as much as 86% and over 63% respectively in the areas under focus. A total of 7,500 impounded motorcycles have also been crushed according to the state government. So what next? That's the question being raised here. We want the government to extend the total clampdown on Okada as a means of uh, public transportation because it is not economical, it is not health uh, friendly, it is a threat to the security of life and property. We are here back calling on the government of uh, Lagos State, headed by Mr. Babajide Olushola Sawolu, to please, in action to our cries, extend that ban to the other 15 and uh, 14. LGs and the remaining uh, uh, 35 from 9, that's uh, 26 there about, 26 LCDs. That seems to represent the popular view of not just the panelists, but majority of those in the hall. But there are certainly some more factors that need to be considered before such total ban is carried out. Um, the youth constituency are 100% in support of a total ban of Okada in the state. But we have some concerns that we have to raise. The honest truth is this, you can't issue rider's permit or rider's car to Okada in the state and say that you want to ban it. So we have to think it through first and ensure that whatever decision that we are taking, we are taking it to the last point. I'll tell you, Goshans, that where well, you can have anxiety, but it is not real. The anxiety should just be left behind. Mr. Baide Sanwolu, the governor, is on top of the game. He has called a meeting of all security agencies, and all of them are pledged to reinforce, to work together, to share intelligence, to share ideas, to share means of uh, policing Lagos and ensuring that Lagos is secure, not just for Lagosians, but also for our visitors. So Lagosians need not panic at all because of this uh, threat. Although the state government will still take some more time to digest the recommendations from this forum, it may be safe for now to say the days of motorcycle as a means of transportation in Nigeria's commercial nerve center may be coming to an end. Dokumbo, Oyetunji, Arise News, Lagos.